Welcome to the Anthropocene, the age of humans. We are now the dominant force of change on the planet. Nature once determined how we survive. Now we determine how nature survives. Three quarters of the land surface and two thirds of the ocean are impacted by our activities. In the summer, there is 40% less Arctic sea ice cover than there was in 1980. Almost half of our planet's forests have been felled for their timber and to make space for ourselves and our livestock. And at sea, our extensive overfishing is leading to the collapse of key fish stocks. The cod stocks crashed back home in Newfoundland, where I was from, and you know thousands of people thrown out of work, boats beached, canneries emptied, and that was the real wake-up call. That's where I began to understand that there will be no jobs on a dead planet. The destruction of our natural world is already costing us trillions of dollars every year. Suddenly, the costs of the age of humans are outweighing the benefits. We are at risk of entering a danger zone where we could trigger irreversible and self-amplifying change which could push the whole planet ultimately away from the, the, the desired equilibrium. We are at risk of destabilizing the whole planet. We have just 10 years to drastically alter our path before it will be too late to avoid catastrophic changes to our planet. We need revolutionary speed, right? We need a, a green revolution, and it needs to happen at the scale and at the speed of the digital and internet and mobile revolution. And what drove the speed and scale of these revolutions? Business. The same force that powered the last period of global change can also power the next. The business sector has no option but to be a force for change. Successful businesses will embrace the clean technologies that now exist. Are we going to run out of wind and sunshine in Texas before we run out of fossil fuels? I'm betting on wind and solar. First and foremost, I'm a businessman, and the, the original decision was just a, it was a business decision. New ideas and land management strategies will help us protect our biodiversity and feed more people with less land. The health of the ocean is critical to the way our planet operates. Future businesses will respect it as a resource that belongs to all of us, only taking what it can naturally replace. Next generation businesses will design their product lines to fit within circular economies. Waste from one process becomes food for the next. Waste is just a resource in the wrong place. That's even true for carbon dioxide. It's true for plastics. It's true for everything that we think we're throwing away. There is no way. And so we need to create economies that actually have infrastructure that enable that circular design. If you ask millennials, what is the purpose of business? 47% said some version of the purpose of business is to improve society and protect the environment. This is a fundamental sea change in the way an entire generation thinks about business. It's gonna mean if you want to attract the top talent and retain them, if you wanna win over millennial customers and attract the $30 trillion of capital that's currently being given to millennials by the baby boomer generation, you're gonna to have to have a narrative around how your products are sustainable and, and healthy. Sustainability is now the only business plan. I think that in the future, when we look back, there will be two types of companies. Companies that got it and companies that didn't get it. I know which segment I'd like to belong to. The only viable future is one in which business innovates to demand less of our world. In that future, the wild will recover. We can restore the balance of nature fix the relationship between our planet and our business. 
and change the way we live on our planet for the better. Forever.